Well, welcome back to the channel. My gosh, it's been a while. Um, last time I was with you was back in June up at High Rock Lookout. And uh, now I'm actually in the Central Cascades in the uh, Beverly Creek drainage. This is actually the uh, called the Beverly Turnpike. And um, it's actually um, just to the west, uh, southwest of Mount Stewart, but on the opposite side of the ridge from the enchantments, the more popular enchantments. We're about 4,300 feet here, and uh, I came for sunset this evening. It is uh, it's now 20 minutes after 5, and sunset this evening is at 753. So this is a uh, relatively short, about two or two and a half mile hike in uh, to a basin. And so uh, just looking for late summer sunset compositions using that uh, indirect late afternoon uh, sunlight. But this, this exposure, this basin should be really good for sunset. Um, so, a little bit winded hiking up, but I do want to explain why I haven't been around for a couple months since June, and it's now toward the end of August. Um, it's really, uh, wasn't for lack of trying. I've actually been out a few times um, trying to vlog, but uh, none of them really turned out. So. I couldn't really make a story that I thought was compelling enough. And I don't know if it's the uh, pandemic or the economic situation or, which I'm fine by the way, um, or a mix of the above, but I seem to have temporarily lost my creativity. But I'm confident that I'll get it back. I've actually uh, talked to a few other photographers and I think my symptoms are not not unique um, I just think it's natural because of all the changes going on right now so um, anyway I think it's important to keep this channel active I have these beautiful mountainscapes this beautiful nature that I do love sharing with you so I'm going to keep it up. So I'm back and uh, plan to keep it that way. Although uh, this is last of my long intro, um, I have thought about how to improve the channel. And so um, my plan is to have it more broadly nature focused and not so much just landscapes. So hiking, landscapes, of course, nature photography, um, wildlife photography, maybe even some nature scapes or um, a little bit of Americana, but not too much. So anyway, Beverly Turnpike, and I'm on my way to, on my way to the Beverly Creek Basin. So welcome back. It's good to be here. Well, I just stopped for a water break. Um, I'm actually in the uh, basin area or just coming out of the trees. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any photography this evening. Um, it was nice when I left the car, or left the uh, uh, trailhead, but 
we've kind of gotten this overcast layer that's come in from the west and it's uh, snuffed out that indirect light that I was I was hoping on these uh, ridges behind me uh, was my planned composition so a little bummed on that um, but hey when you're out in nature I think it's important to uh, to enjoy nature and I try to keep my eyes open um, I've mentioned in a few of my past videos my uh, amateur affinity for geology actually uh, in my last video from June when I went to High Rock Lookout I talked about a little bit about the volcanoes of Washington um, I'll link to that video here if you haven't seen it but uh, um, I was looking at these green rocks here and they do not look like your typical cascade basalt that's because they are not uh, this kind of greenish looking waxy rock I don't have a rock hammer to break it open but um, these are this is a rock called serpentinite um, it's a metamorphic rock um, and the cascades themselves are about 40 million years old um, but these rocks have nothing to do with the cascades these are from the late Jurassic 150 million years ago back in the age of the dinosaurs and the cool thing is that serpentinite is formed under high pressure it's a metamorphic rock that forms in the bottom of an ocean so here's this rock that was formed in the bottom of an ocean and found its way about 5,000 feet up in, in the central cascades um, that's some pretty uh, pretty neat stuff actually almost all of Washington State um, is not part of the original crust of North America uh, there were a series of accretions that came in from the Pacific side uh, the wet from the west and basically added to the North American continent so this is one of the few places that you can see this uh, this original bedrock this 150 million year old serpentinite which is part of the basement layer of, uh, of Washington State most of it is buried by volcanic deposits uh, or basalt which is a volcanic deposit but uh, here you can see an exposed layer of basement rock serpentinite 150 million years old so it's always good to keep your eyes open and uh, learn about nature it can surprise you in more ways than one so um, yeah I'm not going to push it on the photography there's uh, there's absolutely no light and uh, without a light without light there's no composition here so uh, I'm gonna pack up my stuff and uh, I'll talk to you a minute on the uh, on the way out well folks kind of bummed I uh, lost the light there but uh, it's nice to see that that old metamorphic rock uh, at least it made the trip at least uh, a little bit worthwhile uh, nature can surprise you in so many ways but uh, so I'm on my way back to the uh, to the car I'm um, just gonna take my time walking out but what a beautiful area uh, it's totally different from uh, the area around Mount Rainier that I spend most of my time um, it's very dry here uh, which is typical for late in the season late in the summer uh, there's an extreme wildfire danger right now and luckily uh, fingers crossed we've been uh, fairly lucky in Washington State uh, much more fortunate than uh, than California um, I really feel for those people down there that's just uh, so sad over a million acres of uh, a forest burned this year like 1.25 million one and a quarter million acres burned um, it's just uh, just horrific so uh, hoping for rain uh, for those guys and um, hoping we stay fire free here in Washington State for the rest of the summer we haven't been fire free but uh, we haven't had those haven't had the major problems that other areas of the country have had so um, yeah sorry about uh, no photography but uh, that is uh, that is nature so it's one of the things that attracts me is the unpredictability of being out in uh, being out in nature and just uh, approaching it on her terms so hope you learned a little bit and uh, enjoyed the uh, mini geology lesson I am a geologist by no means but uh, do enjoy do enjoy uh, rocks and knowing where I came from so at least where where this area came from anyway um, so I feel like I'm rambling on a bit I'm gonna end it here um, walk back to the car and head home so I'd like to thank you very much for watching uh, welcome back to the channel um, I am not gone forever so you will see me again soon 
um, looking forward to the fall and uh, I'm excited to uh, to share more of this uh, wonderful nature with you so I ended here thank you very much for watching and until next time I'll see you in the next video